How far will Batman go to stop the bad guys? Welcome to the Complete Story Series, where I take trade paperbacks and single issues. I break them down into digestible bites to help you understand. Then I read it dramatically back to you. All alterations to the panel's text and images are to prevent copyright problems, and all art is owned by its respective companies. This is a rebirth. A DC rebirth. It is not a reboot. It is a new status quo as DC brings back the things that you loved about your favorite superheroes and puts them back into existing timelines. We're going to be showcasing select issues of the rebirth to let you know the starting points for your favorite stories. In each of these rebirth comics, it's continued in the main line book of the same name. This is Batman Rebirth. Monday, spring. Alfred gets a knock at the door, and when he answers, he finds a young man named Duke. He simply tells Alfred, Hi, I'm here about the offer. Meanwhile, Batman is jumping into a building with Calendar Man opening fire on him. Batman gets in close, and Calendar Man tells him, You're too late! You can't stop the seasons from turning! He knocks out Calendar Man, and then he looks around at a series of spores in the air. Jim, the air. And Gordon responds with, The air is saturated. The spores are already all over the city. Realizing that this could mean the end of Gotham, Batman orders Alfred to hit the suit with max charge, and he sends an electrical signal so massive that it eradicates all of the spores. Tuesday, summer. Bruce Wayne hangs off the helicopter pad on his own roof while Lucius Fox walks outside to inform him. Everything is back where it should be. The government has released a lien on your holdings and after you sign a few papers, the company and your fortune will be yours again. As Bruce throws himself to another of the railings, he asks Lucius. How many times have we done this, Lucius? I lose my entire fortune and you save it. Too many, Mr. Wayne. But we'll do it again, won't we? It's like a calendar. The seasons. They always come around again. Lucius tells Bruce a story about his father. He explains that once he asked his father, Thomas Wayne, why he was a doctor. It's an endless cycle. You cure the sick, they get sick again, and they come back. Thomas Wayne got stern with him and he told him, You're right, Lucius. But the sick needs someone crazy enough to believe that they can be better. What else could I be? Wednesday. Fall. Calendar Man sits in his cell. Batman is watching the monitor with Duke in the Batcave. Duke swears that Calendar Man is looking a lot older than when they captured him. And Batman explains that Calendar Man molts in the winter. He sheds his skin and he's reborn with the seasons, looking like a young man in his prime. That's when Duke puts it together. That means. And Batman stops him. It means that he'll be speeding up the seasons somehow. And tomorrow the temperature will drop, then it'll rise, and his hidden spores will break out into the city, and Gotham will die. We need to find them. But as Batman is putting on the cowl, Duke asks him, Why am I here, Bruce? That's up to you, Duke. I'm fine on my own, as a Robin. I don't think Robin needs a Batman anymore, Bruce. I'm not training you to be a Robin. I'm trying something new. He then reveals a new costume, a yellow one, with a bat signal on the front of it. Duke sees it, and he tells Bruce, All right, I'm listening. Thursday, winter. Batman leaps into the freezing bay with only four minutes of air until he'll drown because his oxygen tank will freeze at these temperatures. While he dies, he has Duke count out the minutes to him. If he can't find these spores, they'll hatch and Gotham will die. Batman dives deeper and deeper into the bay and Duke counts off for him. One minute, four minutes, five minutes. Duke begins to panic, telling Batman to come up. Your body can't take this. Six minutes, you need to get out of there, Batman. But in this time, Batman has placed a bomb on the device to set it off. With an explosion going off, he comes up for air. Duke grabs his hand, pulling him into the Bat helicopter, and he saves him. Friday, spring. Calendar Man molts and he becomes a new man, while Bruce and Duke are training. You tell yourself it's done, but it's never done, is it, Bruce? Calendar Man comes back each time smarter with slightly altered DNA. He'll come up with new ideas. The tree is winning, Duke, your point. How are we supposed to combat that? Easy. We come back better each time. You're crazy, you know that, Bruce? Yeah, I know. And thus, a new Batman tale is ready to begin. Don't forget to check out Batman issue number one and All-Star Batman number one because that's the two storylines that these are following. I hope you guys enjoyed Batman Rebirth. And if you want more Rebirths, let me know in the comments down below. I know you guys are always asking for them on these Rebirth videos, but you know what? It helps me pick the next ones by looking for the most requests down in the comments. Right now, you guys have been asking a lot of Batman, so here's Batman. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Comic Story and on Instagram at Comic Story. And I'll see you guys next time right here.